Corey Johnson. Corey, read between the lines here. What can you tell us about this? Uh, they got to raise a lot of cash. They're going to they're gonna have to sell so many bonds that they need the biggest bond dealers in the world to do it. And, and you know, you mentioned Next. Who remembers Next? Almost no one. 17 years it's been since Apple uh, last had to borrow money. The company's uh, situation is completely different from a financial perspective than it, than it was then. And yes, if you'd bought shares back then, uh, you would have done even better than the bondholders because you would have had a 6,851% return on your money. Which wouldn't stink, uh, but you know, when you think of this cash piles, it's really hard to imagine uh, new ways to look at it. The size of the money they keep, or forget it. They've even invented new terms in their balance sheet about long-term marketable securities as well as short-term marketable uh, securities as well as cash. But interestingly, the aggressive efforts that they've made in, in the last few, uh, let's call it quarters, to return cash to shareholders, to buy back shares. To increase the dividend has even then uh, the, with those big expenditures they've only barely but and increase the capital spending and change our accounts payable throw that and still you're at 145 billion dollars billion with a B dollars in their cash pile in fact if you've looked at the growth of that cash pile over time uh, that's their total cash stash 145 billion dollars this quarter and last and just their investment income alone is is the size of most of the companies that we cover around here with a company creating 347 million dollars in investment income in the last quarter alone. Now, Corey, we've talked a lot about the sheer size of Apple's cash pile. Is it only going to continue to grow even with the money that they're giving back to shareholders? Yeah, even uh, it, a lot of it's going to depend on the terms of the borrowing and how long the money is going to be outstanding, how long term the bonds are going to be. But they are, as you mentioned, they continue to create cash. There's a lot of ways to look at that. You can look at how much cash on a free cash flow basis they created just last quarter. Now, that number has declined a little bit. It was a, 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 it's always a big number of the fourth quarter. It was $21.1 billion in the fourth quarter. But still, in the quarter in which they're giving back so much, in which they're reinvesting so much, when they're paying down their accounts payable, it's still nearly $11 billion last quarter. Uh, just to get your mind around it, $115 million every single day of the last quarter was created for this company. So these guys are really creating a lot of, a lot of cash.